it's over. Was yep. it? Was that one a hard one to put behind you guys after all that celebration? No, nah, definitely not. Definitely not. After the 24-hour rule, you gotta you gotta clean the slate and you gotta come back ready to work and ready to prepare for uh, for the next opponent you gotta face, which is Air Force this week. So, so we came back on Monday. We got good work in. We watched the, we watched all the film, corrected our mistakes, and uh, we had a good practice today preparing for Air Force. Stephen, we've heard quite a bit just about Air Force's offense, how how dynamic and unique they are. But mm -hmm. from your perspective as quarterback. How can these guys hurt you on the defensive side of the ball? What what stuck out to you on film and kind of in that regard? I mean, they they play really physical football on defense. Really physical, very disciplined. They've got they've got good talent on the defensive side of the ball. They bring a lot of pressure, so they uh, they try to set you behind the sticks, and try to uh, try to put you in bad positions where you where you uh, do things that are just uncharacteristic of yourself. Force footballs and just try to do too much almost to try to get first downs, especially because of the way that their offense plays. Um, but I mean, we're excited to play them. They're, they're, they're going to be a very good football team, both offensively and defensively. So we're excited for the challenge. Steven, um, I thought it was interesting. Mel Tucker goes in at halftime on Saturday. You guys are down 17, nothing. I think every Buff fan in the stadium is probably like, oh, this doesn't look good. And yet he tells you guys, hey, we took their best shot. You know, we're right in the game. It seemed like he was calm, cool, and collected on the sidelines. He just seemed to be encouraging you guys. What's his leadership like? And if you guys are taking your cue from Mel Tucker and taking on his characteristics, what, what characteristics are there about Coach that you guys are taking? Man, he's just he's just cool as a cucumber. Just on that sideline, he's just, especially when things aren't going right for us and we were kind of in a tough spot there at halftime. I mean, he was just still cool, calm, and collected, keeping everybody in the game. And uh, I mean, I think that was huge for us. I think I think the outcome would have been a lot different if he came in the locker room freaking out and yelling and just you know just almost kind of just showing emotion, getting nervous. But he didn't do that. I mean, he came in. He was cool, calm, and collected. He said, "Hey, we still got a whole another half of football. Got a lot of game left. Just keep doing what we're doing, and eventually it's going to pop for us." And and it did. So when it pops for you. And he and what he said comes to fruition. What does that do for the belief between the team and the coaching staff? Oh yeah, I mean it just it just makes him even more credible than he already was. Just because exactly what he said happened. We stayed calm. We stayed we stayed playing within ourselves, and uh, and good things happened for us there in the, at the late third and, and like all fourth quarter. So I mean it was it was just it was just really good to see just him just kind of have that belief in us. That, that he knew that we can get it done, and, and then we uh, we went out there and we proved him right in the second half. So you've got all these weapons on offense, and LaVisca, KD, all these guys. But the guy who plays almost every single play is Brady. Can you talk about his contribution and kind of what he's meant to you guys, and I think he's been great as far as a blocker. Obviously, he's caught a few passes, but you just talk about what he means to this offense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Brady's just one of those guys who kind of just does every everything right down to the minute details. He just does everything right, plays hard every single play, very physical, very tough, very tough dude. So, I mean, it's, it's fantastic having him on the offense because he's one of those guys, too, that just is nice and calm the entire game, doesn't get, doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Um, and just sure-handed, blocks well in the run game, uh, blocks well in the pass game too when we need him to when we go into that seven-man protection. And, uh, I mean, he just, just plain and simple, he kind of just does everything right. Steven, I would think, you know, after a ball game like that, you, you were able to distribute the ball so well to different guys. But it had to be real satisfying for you to define Jalen Jackson, all that kid has gone through, and to make a catch like that that set up a touchdown. I mean, just, just kind of speak to that kid's perseverance and what he means to you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Jalen's been through a lot in his time here at Colorado. And I mean, he just he just kept his head down and kept working the entire time. When adversity hit him, I mean, when adversity hits hits dudes, like, you don't really know which way they're going to go. They might shut it down. They might kind of feel sorry for themselves. But Jalen Jalen's not like that at all. He kept his head down. He kept working, kept pushing, waited for his opportunity. And when his opportunity came, he made the most out of it. So I'm, I'm very happy for him, and I'm hoping that we can see a lot more out of him for the rest of the season. You talked about being calm, cool, and collected and taking that from Coach Tucker. I noticed in overtime there when the two teams were standing out there for the coin toss, you and Muhammad Barry kind of were having a conversation. Was that part of being cool, calm, and collected? Because you look totally at ease. I mean, here we are going to overtime. It's high, tense, high 
game, and there you are kind of just having a conversation. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes sometimes I get into the to the, the ebbs and flows a little bit. Sometimes I, when we score a touchdown, I'll get a little amped up and throw a bad ball or throw an interception. I just kind of just, man, shouldn't have done that, you know, just – Kind of, kind of just brush it off. But yeah, when we were at that coin toss, I was just, just talking to him, just having a conversation. Just, I think I actually was like, just, oh man, we meet again, because I, uh, I saw him for the, to, for the coin toss to open up the game, and uh, I mean, yeah, that was, that's what I, that's what I said. So, just having a conversation. I was asking him about uh, one of the, uh, one of the other linebackers who played at Nebraska last year, Dedrick Young, who was number five last year. He's, he's a good friend of my roommate Brett Ton. So I. I've kind of know, come to know him and come to be good friends with him as well. So, just asking him if he still catches up with Dedrick. They weren't in the stadium having those same conversations. No, they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. Appreciate it, guys.